Now this is a, a group of interesting World War I British Royal Naval signals um, concerning the surrender of the German fleet to the British Royal Navy. Um, it's Royal Naval signal paper which is Naval signal there's all the details and this particular one is dated 12th of the 11th 1918 it's from Rosyth to OUV whatever that is the German command down here is all the details and what it says written in pencil and these are historically important it says from British some of it's difficult to read from British something or another to something or another German high seas fleet from order to arrange detail for giving effect to something of naval armistice suggest you should a flag officer authorized as necessary in a light cruiser to a rendezvous where he will be met and escorted to my base please something and a rendezvous or oh, please reply and a rendezvous will be given 13th of the 11th 1918 request you will direct Konigsberg which is a German battleship to rendezvous in latitude 50 12 N longitude 40 W at 8 o'clock GMT on Friday morning November 15th where British light cruiser will be met something and escort her to my base request you will inform me of route Konigsberg will follow so that British flotillas may be warned and to continue this there's another one naval signal from Rosyth to German stations Konigsberg will be met at the rendezvous at 12 o'clock midday GMT on Saturday 16th of November please direct her to report to my oh, please direct her to report to me should she find herself able to reach the rendezvous earlier please inform me what call signs she will use for radio communications 14th of the 11th 1918 from Lieutenant something to Admiral Mueller Konigsberg a route direct from score to rendezvous will keep you clear of British mines request you will inform me date and time Konigsberg will arrive at rendezvous 14th and 11th 1918 light cruiser escort will be at rendezvous at 2 p.m. GMT Friday November 15th Rosyth to something for flag command German Admiral should be informed and it continues it says continue this is the 15th 11th 1918 German command should be informed that I am prepared for him immediately with his staff officers but I'm not prepared to 
receive the delegate of the council. And then another one from Rosyth to Cookshaven, 16th 11th 1918. Number one, this particular section is in German. Hoch sie Kommando B something Labour der U-Boot Wilmshaven. And it goes on in German. And then here in English it says Admiral Mura is informed as follows. Number two. The German submarines should sail in flotillas of approximately 20 boats on date which will be communicated by the British Naval Command. The rendezvous to which they are to proceed is latitude 5205 north long. 205 east at 7.30 a.m. GMT on the day attested. Number three, a transport flying the German flag should accompany the submarines to take their crews back to Germany. Number four, a force of light cruisers and destroyers will meet and escort the submarines at, to their anchorage. Then we have continued number five. The German flotilla is to be informed, is to be formed in H divisions of five submarines each, the divisions being the single line and led by the transport number six. The transport will be led independently of the submarines to their anchorage by a light cruiser distinguished by a blue ensign at the foremost head, speed 15 knots. She should be diverted, directed to follow the motions of the light cruiser and two destroyers will follow the transport. Number seven, four destroyers each, distinguished by a blue ensign at the foremost head, will each lead a division of five submarines speed 12 knots. The commanding officers of the submarines should be directed to follow the destroyers, leading them accurately at two, two something, 400 yards of a speed of four cables dividing continued dividing each division of submarines signals to stop engines and to anchor will be made by the escorting vessel to the respective divisions by international code number eight the commanding officer of each german submarine will at the arrival of the british officer hand over a signed declaration that he has complied with the demands laid down as follows that the submarine is in the following condition number nine each commanding officer is in addition to present a list of the names of all officers and men in his ships. Number 10. On arrival of the British crews, the German crews, except those, except those actually attending machinery, are to be paraded together to the forecastle in charge of an officer. Continued and are to leave their vessels when ordered to do so. Batteries fully charged up. One, one, batteries fully charged up. Two, full complement of torpedoes on board launched back clear of torpedo tubes and without warheads. Three, that no explosives of any sort are on board 
4 that the submarine is in swimming condition fully blown 5 that all periscopes are in working and efficient condition 6 that all sea valves are closed and watertight doors left in efficient condition wireless telegraphy apparatus in working order 7 that no informal machine or booby traps of any sort are on board number 11 the German commanding officer of each submarine will be sequenced or required to professionally conduct the British officer taking crews and give him the details of his vessel and every facility for taking over continued when the operation has been completed the German officers and men will take their places in the boat provided and will be taken to the transport or vessel detail to take them back to Germany number 13 when all the crews are on board the transport and all the submarines have arrived in Hoik or Harwich Arbor the transport will be ordered to weigh and will follow the escort provided to positions in latitude 52 degrees 05 north long 2 degrees 10 east and will then be permitted to return to Germany Admiral Muser 0125 and it's basically the same in German something to do with Admiral Beatty continued priority send our officers to German Admiral Konigsberg with copy of following and to await something by something paragraph 6 of your telegram to something something high seas fleet is not in accordance with statements in agenda papers in order to save time I propose last sentence of paragraph 6 should be something to read and then it all goes into German again and then if you concur telegram will be sent immediately this is the 16th 11th 18 Admiral Muner has signed statement that he agrees to message being forwarded as suggested by CNC 16th 11th 1918 Rosyth to German station it is necessary that the ships should first proceed to an anchorage in the Firth of Forth but outside the precincts of the port this is to allow for accommodation for embarkation of the British navigating parties who are required to enable the vessels being safely passed through the British minefields en route to port of internment 1445 it is proposed that the German ships to be interned should rendezvous in a position 50 miles 90 degrees from something island 
the leading ships being in that position at 8 p.m. on Thursday, November 21st. And then this is 16th, 11th, 1918, Rosyth to German stations. The routine for the German base will be given after receipt of information as to German minefields in the Heligoland Blight. Bight. German ships are to approach the rendezvous on a course 270 degrees speed 1012 knots to be formed up as follows 1. Heavy ships in single line ahead in close order two cables apart with the battle cruisers leading 2. Light cruisers in single line ahead three cables apart the leading light cruiser three miles astern of the rear battleships 3. Destroyers to be five groups three miles astern of the rear light cruisers. Guns able to be in receiving position trained fore and aft. And it continues. Three, a sufficient force will, be, will meet the ship's and escort them to the anchorage and then Rosyth to German station 1520 three three light cruisers each flying a blue ensign at the masthead will be detailed to proceed ahead of the German heavy ships German light cruisers and destroyers respectively and lead them to the anchorage signed Admiral New Muna, Mura, something like that, 1440. Then, 16th, 11th, 1918, Rosyth to German station. Fuel. The surface vessels for interment should have sufficient fuel to steam 1500 miles at 12 knots from something, and in addition, sufficient fuel for something consumption to 17th December and then provisions the vessels should have enough provisions for navigations something for 10 days from Sheltig something and sufficient for case of something something to 17th of December 1918 Commensations of Armistice or something very much like that. And we have November 1918 from Rosyth to German stations. Request you will include following information in written statement regarding submarines. 1. List of any submarines of UF type which may be ready. 2. List of submarines undergoing something. 3. List of submarines afloat but not undergoing trials. Oh, that must say 2. List of submarines undergoing trials. 3. List of submarines afloat but not undergoing trials. 4. Date U78 left Germany on her last voyage and who's her and whose her minds were to be laid 2231 request you will inform me by wireless of safe route for negotiating prisoners of war from Copenhagen through something to the westward of the Scaros, something like that. And we continue. This is November the 19th. We're south to German station. Request you will forward to me by hand of the commanding officer 
of one of the submarines proceeding to something a statement drawing something of following submarines if any of these are missing the date of which they left harbour should be stated so these are all the kind of u-bot numbers so there's u1 2 3 4 9 16 17 19 21 22 24 25 30 71 92 97 102 112 120 130 136 142 156 168 UB2 5 9 10 11 12 21 24 25 28 34 40 57 59 61 65 76 79 83 84 88 90 100 102 103 104 106 107 113 114 115 123 126 127 142 143 20 58 59 67 90 95 96 99 100 101 and 118 and then we carry on from Cleethorpes to the German government 20th to the 11th 1918 now this one's a bit difficult to read information reaches his majesty's government of shocking lack of organization in release of British prisoners in German territory and of the something march miserably clothed without food or transport and with no escorts or guides to the allied lines with the result of lamentable suffering and heavy mortality his majesty's government cannot tolerate continuation of this cruel treatment and must insist on adequate arrangements being made in all above requests by German authorities with whom responsibility lies otherwise we shall be compelled to take this into account in any question of something Germany on satisfying requirements of German population His Majesty's government are ready to lend all capable assistance by forwarding food clothing and transport to prisoners camps where they are not otherwise forthcoming and are addressing allied commander in this sense please acknowledge receipt and then naval signal from Rosyth the German station dated November the 19th and this one's really difficult to read request you will report what depth below low water and there's a piece missing tides mines were laid in something minefield off the dutch coast something 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 in order to something something so that's a rare set historically important british documents regarding the surrender of german ships and u-boats following the end of world war one all original handwritten naval signals what a fantastic set of things and sadly not mine these are my cousins but all original and retained within a, a modern day binder hence the shine on them but what a fantastic set of items how rare 
Hadoos de opitsen pezies.